we have some really important news that is going to make your day a lot better. If you are someone who receives benefits from the Department of Veterans Affairs, Social Security, Social Security Disability Insurance, or Social Security Disability Insurance, then you should pay attention because this is for you. How about this? It is anticipated that your stimulus checks in the amount of $2,000 will come as soon as May 13th, and they are now in transit. Just how incredible is that? In the video that is going to be released soon, we are going to delve deeply into all of the information that you need to know about these checks. In order for everyone to comprehend it, we will explain it in ways that are easy to understand. We want to make sure that you are fully informed about this significant news, regardless of whether you are a senior person, a person, a proud veteran, or someone who lives with a disability. Everything from determining who is eligible for these payments to determining how you will receive them will be covered by us. In addition to that, we will provide you with some useful advice to guarantee that you receive your money as quickly as possible. When all is said and done, we are aware of how vital it is to have this additional support during these trying times. But before we get into that, let's take a step back and try to figure out why there is such a pressing need to put more money into the hands of people who are now living on fixed incomes. Over the course of the past year, inflation has led the prices of a wide variety of necessities that are required on a daily basis to climb to dizzying new levels. If you are receiving social security or disability benefits, I am certain that you have directly experienced this phenomenon. Take a look at some of these data from the most recent report on inflation that was compiled by the Consumer Price Index. The price of gasoline has increased by an astounding 44% over the course of the past year. Your home's utility costs, which include the cost of heating it and keeping the lights on, have increased by 13.7%. Moreover, the prices of commodities such as eggs, milk and bread in grocery stores have increased by 10.8%. These escalating costs have been a harsh and financially crushing reality for families and people who are struggling to pay their monthly obligations, and they have been a source of frustration for them. For the majority of claimants, the fixed payments that they get from Social Security or disability benefits have simply not kept up with inflation. Despite the fact that there was a 5.9% increase in the cost of living adjustment applicable to Social Security in 2022. On the other hand, it has not been nearly enough for millions of people to keep up with their standard of living. In a recent poll, it was discovered that an astounding 40% of older citizens had to entirely deplete their retirement and emergency savings accounts in order to survive during the course of the previous year. As a result of the limited chances available to them at their ages to earn more money, many of them are reducing the amount of food they consume, going without heat or air conditioning, and making decisions that are impossible to make between essential necessities. The bottom line is that a significant portion of the elderly population and the disabled community in the United States are in dire need of financial assistance and stability, while increasing costs continue to be incurred all around them. This revived campaign for new stimulus checks of $2,000 that are especially targeted for older citizens, disabled individuals, and those on fixed Social Security incomes has been gathering a lot of traction in the corridors of power in Washington, District of Columbia, as of late. According to reports from a variety of sources, including as The Hill, CBS News, and Bloomberg government, the most prominent plan would include making one-time direct payments of $2,000 to individuals in the United States who fall into the, fall into the following categories. Individuals who are 65 years of age or older and are receiving retirement payments from Social Security to those who are receiving disability payments from the Social Security Administration or Disability Insurance or Disability Insurance 3, any veterans who are currently getting benefits from the VA. This $2,000 payment would be far more targeted in nature in contrast to the previous broad stimulus measures that were carried out during the pandemic. During those efforts, checks were distributed to practically every American who made less than a particular income limit. The rationale behind this is because these particular populations have been disproportionately affected by the highest inflation rates in the past 40 years, as stated by the bill's proponents. When it comes to other policy initiatives that are intended to alleviate the pain of the economy, they have, for the most part, been left behind. Two of the most important aspects that have been revealed up to this point are that there will be a hard income cap of approximately $75,000 per year for individuals who file their taxes on their own and $150,000 for couples who are eligible. From a federal perspective, the payments of $2,000 would be completely exempt from taxation. Taxes levied by the federal government are not applicable. Income phase-outs in which benefits are lowered at higher salaries would not be a part of this stimulus plan in contrast to the pandemic stimulus. It is $2,000 for everyone who is not permitted to do so. During the course of several months, the Treasury Department will be tasked with the responsibility of distributing the money by a combination of direct deposit and physical checks. Now that we've reached this point, you might be asking to yourself, wait a minute, if these stimulus checks could provide such vital assistance to elderly people and people with disabilities, then would they? What would be the level of difficulty in obtaining approval and having them signed into law? Therefore, according to the findings of my investigation into the political dynamics on Capitol Hill that are associated with this idea, it is complicated, as is so frequently the case in the modern era. Let me walk you through the most important aspects of the situation. On the one hand, there is undeniably widespread public support at the bipartisan level for the concept of providing $2,000 stimulus checks to senior senior citizens and disabled people. 
This support is based on the results of multiple opinion polls and advocacy from influential organizations such as the American Association of Retired Persons, also known as ARP. Uh, in spite of the fact that they have largely opposed broader stimulus initiatives, Republican politicians have expressed their support for providing assistance to senior constituents who are actually hurting and who are living on fixed incomes. As a result of the perception that it is assisting a group that is sympathetic, there is a degree of political cover there. However, the issue regarding the entire price tag and the impact on the federal deficit could prove to be a significant obstacle in the way of the project's success. With an estimated 50 million people in the United States who could be eligible, the total cost of checks for $2,000 could potentially surpass $100 billion, according to some predictions. After several years of steadily increasing deficits as a result of earlier COVID relief acts, fiscal hawks within the Republican Party, in particular, have already begun to raise concerns about the possibility of significantly increasing the national debt. Every single one of the 435 seats in the House of Representatives and 33 seats in the Senate will be up for grabs during the forthcoming election cycle in 2024, which is another element that cannot be disregarded. Any expenditure package that is deemed contentious has the potential to become a political football that can be used against opponents. During this time when Republicans are attempting to regain control of Congress, moderate Democrats are already concerned about the possibility of being seen as backing irresponsible giveaways of trillions of dollars. Therefore, the optics and timing of a stimulus package for $100 billion can prove to be tricky. Therefore, taking all of this into consideration, what are the feasible ways to go forward in order to make this proposal for a stimulus check of $2,000 a reality before the year 2024 comes to a close? As a result of my investigation, I have identified three possible outcomes. It is possible that President Biden may pursue these stimulus payments through executive order, similar to how some of the student loan forgiveness and other pandemic relief measures that his administration has implemented have been implemented. This would be the first and most likely quickest option. Putting money into the hands of Americans who are struggling financially, such as older citizens and disabled people, in a timely manner is an economic emergency that cannot wait for Congress to take action because it is now in a state of deadlock. In spite of this, executive orders are susceptible to being challenged in the courts, and there are restrictions on the extent to which the president's authority can be extended with regard to direct payments. There is a high probability that a lawsuit alleging executive overreach would be filed against such order. As a result, this is a dangerous road with no assurance that one will survive. Attempting to attach these $2,000 stimulus payments to a spending package that must be passed, such as an upcoming federal budget, would be the second legislative option, and it is possible that this would be the most realistic option if Democrats continue to hold control of the Senate after 2024. It is possible that it would be easier to obtain sufficient votes for approval if it were to be included as a single item within a bigger legislative package that is a political requirement to maintain the government's funding and operations. Despite the fact that this is unlikely to be the case, presidential budgets are frequently subject to criticism. If Republicans were to obtain control of the House of Representatives in the elections that will take place in 2024, the final alternative would be to make a new dedicated stimulus bill one of the very first objectives of the new Congress. This would be a long shot, but it would be a possibility nonetheless. In spite of the fact that the leadership of the Republican Party would almost definitely be opposed to a more comprehensive economic stimulus package, this particular payment of two dollars, triple zero that would affect a significant portion of their base has the ability to get enough votes from Republicans to pass through both chambers of Congress.